Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives, Northeast Ohio Beekeeping. Brian here. We are going to check a couple of these colonies today and see if they have queens. I am super curious. They had queens that were installed. I'm curious, where are they at now? So follow along this video because it's going to be very, very interesting to see what I find. All right, this first colony here, we're gonna see what they show us. Oh, this is good. Look at all that brood right there. Eggs, larvae, excellent. Excellent, oh man, look at that. Wow, man alive, look at that frame. Drone brood on the bottom there. That's a healthy colony. Laying it up. Look at that frame right there. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Built that all out. New comb on there. I see eggs, larvae, all through there. All right, now this next hive here is a double nuke. Now it's two four frame colonies. Oh yeah, look, well, look right there. So right there is a uh, queen. She's got the red dot, so that's this year. So, doing good. That is a solid frame right there of nectar. Now, th they're gonna need another box. And what do I see is there's eggs in there. Well, there is that pretty queen right there. Look at her. red dot on her and she's going to set for one second here. Both sides of this uh, resource uh, hive here, queen right. So excellent. Splits that I did there actually worked. So I'm going to get this just slid back, let that paint on her dry and uh, I'm going to have to come back tomorrow and put another box on each of these. All right, so this colony here Yet another split. So let's see if I find brood in this. You know, I'm looking for any bit of newer brood and I just don't see it. You know, there's some cells that are torn down, but it's been long enough that I should see eggs. Uh, I should see signs of a queen. Wow, this is all stored nectar. Oh, well look at there. There is a cell that has emerged out. Right there is a cell. nothing in this colony either so that's three that do not have queens that I'm going to have to make a move on all right this double nuke right here uh, I actually moved queens into this uh, double nuke that I've had for this will be their third year so a recap of what I have found so far is found six colonies that uh, are not uh, queen right. So I got some decisions to make. Um, it's just, it's not really what I wanted. You try and expand and then you run into issues like that. So, um, it is what it is. Yep, and there she is. So that's good. Got her right there. 
And I apologize, it's kind of getting dark, but um, that's a 20, let me see, 2021 queen. So she's, she's doing her job. Uh, she's going to go back in there um, and uh, close that up. And let's check the other side. Because what I've done with this uh, colony here is, or this, this hive, is I moved both of my 2021 queens over here, hoping that I can keep them. I, I just, I'm trying to keep these queens as long as what I can, you know, just to show everybody that, well, you know, queens can perform more than one season. So, let's see what I find over here. Oh yeah, there's brood in there. Eggs and larvae. So the queen has been up here. Whether I'll find her, you know, that, that's just another another story. But maybe I will. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a good, good gene line. You know, these queens have performed exceptionally well. You know, you look right there, look at this frame. There's the queen. And you look at this frame, loaded. So, you know, cannot go wrong right there. So she's going to go back in. Uh, still have two of my 2021 queens. Uh, they're doing really well. So that's going to go on there. And close it on up. So what we've got now to deal with are six colonies. Five of them had no signs. Uh, the one tall one back here had cells on the 13th. So I need to decide what angle, what direction I go. So there might be a saving grace out of this, but I'm not going to disclose that in this video. So... Sometimes all you need is an evening to think. Well... I was going to split this into two videos, and I decided not to. Now, I was in yesterday, and I found out that like the colony that you're sitting on had a queen. These ones were queen right. This colony, that colony, you know, we had four in the front here, did not have queens. Uh, in the back, there's two, do not have queens. So I have six colonies that do not have queens. What happened to arrive yesterday, I'm going to walk right in their flight, is a box here, and there are three virgin queens from Corey Stevens. Now, Corey has very specific instructions that you follow to introduce and have success with his virgin queens. You basically set them up through a process of being hopelessly queenless. They have no other chance other than to accept the queen that he has in this cage. My colonies here have been now hopelessly queenless. There is no brood. So I placed a call, you know, get on the phone with Corey, uh, chatted with, you know, Bruce Gregg also, and I basically wanted to confirm that would I have an issue if I install these virgins into these colonies here that have been sitting there? See no issue. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, through Corey's installation process, he has it set so that you would tape the candy that's on here. Because these colonies are in a state of being queenless, they have no choice other than to accept this queen. If they reject this queen, they are basically saying, we do not want to survive. So I am not going to tape this candy plug that is on these cages. Um, I went through them thoroughly yesterday. There is no brood, no eggs, very little. It's just like the last bits of brood are emerging. So there is no, no chance on this hive creating a queen on its own. 
I basically have to intervene and that is part of our duty as a beekeeper. So let me get suited up. Uh, I'm gonna get into this colony here, just check a couple frames real quick and install the queens. I'm gonna put these queens in the front row here and the other colonies, I have some decisions. I'm probably going to combine uh, one or two of those with others. Um, it's just, I don't wanna mess around with queenless colonies. So let's get this stuff started. If you just listen, and I'm gonna bring you in here real close. That roar that you hear there, that is the roar that this colony is not in homeostasis, so to say. Uh, they are out of sorts. They do not have a queen mama. Let's see what they do. There, we got a couple that are looking. You know, a good sign, uh, I would hope that they would pay a little more attention and they're starting right now, but if they're not balling up that cage, that's a good sign. They're starting to go on there now, and what you'll see them do is they will feed those bees that are in that cage. It doesn't look aggressive to me right now, so that is a good sign. I've noticed also the hum that's in here has decreased some. So what I'm gonna do is take this cage and just kind of push it right there. Yeah, you can listen, and from even a minute ago to right now, you can hardly hear a hum in here. So that is good, that's what I want. I'm just spot checking these frames to see if I would uh, find any eggs. You know, if I put a virgin in this colony and there's a queen in here that virgin would annihilate that mated queen so because i just went through these yesterday uh yesterday i just went through these you know i know pretty much where they're at but just double checking you know, there's a good little spot right there good little brood's nest perfect spot for it Last queen right here from Corey. Set her on there and see what they do. You, know, you got ones here fanning, so I want to move her right there, and they can fan that pheromone. You can see them right there fanning. All right, so I got the queens installed. Now I'm going to mark today's the 24th. So I'm just going to do on top of this. Now this would be a perfect moment to install a queen right dial, that way I can keep track of it. But I'm gonna put on here VQ524. Um, that's gonna be that, so I'll know there was a virgin queen installed that day. Same thing over here, and back over here. Now, I'll be curious to see how these do. Um, I'm leaving them alone from this point for two weeks. I am not gonna touch them. I'm gonna let them do their thing. Uh, they should be released. They should go out on their mating flight and hopefully they return to these colonies and start laying it up. Uh, we will see. I mean, um, hopefully I can get through with, uh, you know, get over, so to say, this little, this little speed bump in, in my expansion this year. Um, and uh, get these colonies moving forward. So I'm gonna get back and work some other colonies. You all take care. Appreciate you watching this kind of scatterbrained, you know, video. I started out doing some inspections and kind of made some phone calls then and just wanted to continue it along. So, um, but again, I'll say, you know, if you like it, like the video, subscribe along to follow Northeast Ohio Beekeeping here. I mean, I show everything, so you know, this is, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, like I said uh, before. So, um, but you all take care, have a good day, and until the next one.